I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to the Sweetwater Minute. This time out, a super affordable, compact, portable digital mixer from Behringer. Let's get started. This is the Behringer XR18, the latest member of the X-Air family of digital mixers from Behringer. Super compact, very lightweight, and very affordable, yet it gives you all the power you need to mix your band on stage. Now the XR18 can be rack mounted or you can use it tabletop as I have it here. When you use it tabletop, these bumpers install on the side to protect the unit, or you can install rack ears on it and mount it into a rack. You control the mixer using either Wi-Fi or Ethernet. You can use Mac, PC, iOS, or Android devices to control the XR18. Let's take a quick tour of the XR18. All the connections we need are on the front panel. The only thing that's not on the front is the power inlet on the side of the unit. Dominating the center of the XR18, we have 16 mic and line level inputs. The first two of those can also accept high z inputs from instruments. We have an additional two line inputs, number 17 and number 18. And here on the bottom left, we have six aux outputs. Now in the studio, you'd use those to feed hardware processors or to create headphone mixes. On stage, you'd use those to feed monitors for your band members. We have two main stereo outputs, which would feed your speaker system when you're on stage or into a recorder if you're doing a mix down. Then we have a headphone output, which has its own independent volume control. Across the top of the front panel is where we have our connectivity for remote controlling the XR18. We begin with an Ethernet port, and this is where you'd connect a computer, a PC, or a Mac that you're using to direct control the XR18. Next to that we have a switch, and that determines whether the XR18 is responding to Ethernet or to Wi-Fi. Now the nice thing with the XR18 is that it actually has the Wi-Fi router built in. With most digital mixers, you have to connect an external router. With this one, it's built right in, we have an antenna here on the front panel, and you can pop that antenna off for transport. It's very easy to use the XR18 via Wi-Fi. Basically, it sets itself up as a hotspot or as its own Wi-Fi network. You go into your iPad, your Android, your computer, choose that as your Wi-Fi network, and you're locked right up. Continuing across the front panel, next up, we have MIDI input and output ports. And then we have a USB port. Now, that allows us to actually use the XR18 as a recording interface with our computer or with an iOS device, actually. Simply connect it up via USB the way I have it set up here, and it shows up as 18 inputs and 18 outputs from your DAW. Next up is the XR18's alternate port. Now this is a proprietary port that hooks up to the P16 monitor distribution system from Behringer. This allows each musician to create their own monitor mix on stage or to create their own headphone mix in the studio. Controlling the XR18 couldn't be easier. You simply download the XAR app onto your device. In this case, I've got it on my iPad. It shows up and basically gives you an overview of everything that's going on in the mixer. We have our 16 input channels. Down here in the end, we have our effects returns. And for each input channel, we can look at the input, so we can choose where it's coming from, either mic or USB if we're feeding back from our DAW. We have control over gain. You have a trim control when you're using USB. And we also have a high pass filter that you can turn on and off and set the frequency for. We can link two channels together into stereo and we have polarity reverse for each channel as well. Now we can pop over and look at the sends. We have those six aux sends which feed out of the front panel six aux jacks. And then we have four effects sends. Next up, we have a gate for each channel. We actually have two views for that. We have a very simple view where we set the threshold and on or off, or you can toggle the advanced view and look at all of the parameters if you want to get into those. The same thing holds true when we look at the dynamics processor. So we can have a compressor, we can have an expander, and again, we can look in that as simple view, or we can look in that in advanced view if we need to access all of the parameters. We have a parametric EQ on each channel, four bands of fully parametric EQ. And then we also, in the output section, have control over pan for each channel where it's coming out of the stereo main outputs. Now we can look at an overview of everything that's happening inside the console by clicking the meter button. That shows us all of the inputs and outputs that are happening simultaneously, including those P16 sends that are coming out of the alternate jack. We can also toggle over and look at the four effects processors. So we've got a vintage room reverb, a hall reverb, a modulated delay, and then also a dimensional chorus. When you tap on those, they'll open up and show you the parameters for the different processors. The last menu selection is a very simple setup page. This allows you to reset or reinitialize the mixer. You can also move where the channels are showing up, so you can drag those and reposition them as you like. So if you have the drums on a particular set of inputs, you can move the channels in the mixer to match that. We can also choose to view wider channel strips, or by pushing this button, we can toggle to narrow channel strips. We'll push back here, and we can look at, in the master section, the main outputs. We can also choose to look at the aux outputs, any of the six of those, or any of the four effects sends. Now when we go back to the main outputs, we also have a dynamics processor, and EQ for each of those. So here's our dynamics, and again, we can look at the advanced view. We can look at our EQs, and we actually have several choices here. We have parametric, and we also have graphic EQ.
So everything you need for operating the XR18 is right here in this one simple screen. You can jump over and look at effects, you can look at the processing for the channels, but your basic operations are all right here, very simple, very fast. But we're not quite done yet, because as I mentioned, you can use the XR18 as a recording interface into your DAW running on your computer or your iOS device. Let's take a look at how that works. So I've connected a Shure SM57 dynamic microphone into input number one on the XR18. Each of the channels does have phantom power, so you could choose to use a condenser microphone if you prefer. Then I'm coming out by USB straight into Pro Tools, and I've created a set of channels in my sessions there for each of the inputs on the XR18. Now you can see that my signal is coming in on channel one. It's showing up on my meters here in the iPad. It's showing up as my master output. We also can look at uh, aux end there. I've got a feed going into my reverb processor. So we can see everything that's going on inside the mixer, and then my routing is going straight into Pro Tools, and you can see I'm coming in on channel one. Now if we record a little bit of this, check one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Take this out of control. Now if we pop back over here, we can choose USB as our input, and when we play back from Pro Tools, we'll get that same signal coming out of the track that I recorded, back through the XR18, and out of our master outputs, along with the reverb. Check. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this allows the XR18 to serve as an audio interface for your computer. 18 inputs, 18 outputs, and because you're monitoring through the mixer, you don't have any issues with latency as you're tracking or overdubbing. If you're looking for a super compact, ultra portable, ultra lightweight digital mixer that you can control from your iPad, your Android device, your PC, or your Mac, that can also serve as an audio interface for your computer, your iOS device, and your studio, the XR18 makes a great choice. The features that it has come in at an amazing price, four built-in effects processors, six different aux outputs that you can send different mixes to for your monitor mixes, and actually each person can access those and control those independently. Really is a powerful little mixer in a compact, lightweight package. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Behringer XR18. It's an incredible digital mixer. Now, if you need a desktop version, there's also the X18. And if you need a smaller version, you don't need as many microphone inputs, you don't need quite as many features, there's also the XR16 and the XR12s. Thanks for joining me for the Sweetwater Minute. I'm Mitch Gallagher.